Uh, here we have an example from the next paper, yeah, July series, uh, Diploma in Building Civil, Diploma in Civil, and Diploma in Architect, Module 2, Survey Calculation. Uh, here we have another interesting question with a whole 20 marks. A 20 marks added to the pocket of reducing the refers and uh, getting excellent results. So let's go through the question and see if we can do something constructive. Uh, the figure so using the information so using the following field observation abstract and data prepare a traverse bearing sheet uh, so yeah they don't have much story they need you to think and find the correction find the values that you are supposed to add so that is just a direct question and we have been given here a table and the tables they were direct so from a fn.1 we have the values of b k1 c uh, so we move uh, in this we move below so from here we move to k1 to k2 to k3 uh, from k3 we move to k4 when you finish we go back here and we move to K5, K6, and the last controlling station is C. Uh, this was an interesting example that I came across because they have not given us the final bearing, and we are supposed to have the final bearing. Uh, so how how can we do this? They wanted you to think, and the only way they wanted you to think, they knew you had tackled something similar to this. Um, uh, in all my classes that I, I have taught, I have dealt with something to do with interversing commutation. So that is just a little bit topic. And if, if you have not tackled that topic, you need to go back and see what you can learn from there. So from interversing computation, we get the bearings from the datum coordinates that we have been given here. So this datum coordinates, we have the datum coordinates, so the northings and the eastings, point A, B, and C. And from these points, we are going to get our final bearings. Uh, so this example, uh, I had done it, and I want to go through it. So I had done it somewhere and i wanted to show you how i did it so from the datum coordinates that we have there uh, we have a formula so here is the our nb so here we have our nb i had written there so this is the point to remember point to note so turn so at a turn of a bearing so a turn of a bearing of a line a b is supposed to be the difference in the so the x that is the east and the node that is the y so we are supposed to find the difference between the east and we divide the difference with the north so the turn theta of a b is supposed to be uh, the east of b the easting of b minus the easting of a over the nothing of b minus the nothing of a and if you use the calculator well you are going to find your value so uh when you find the value you just go back to the calculator and you find the inverse the turn inverse having done that the turn inverse of that that value that you've got in there and you'll get your um, bearing which will be 57 0, 1, 12 then going back to the inversing computation uh we have the four 
uh, quadrants and according to the the value that we had gotten here so we add a positive 180 in order to find the final and all these I have told you so there is a good book uh, by Burnley and it has the whole explanation of the interversing computation that's why I got in that's why I got this idea from when you add 180 so the bearing of a B will be 237 0 1 12 then you do the same so here I want us to find as much as possible and the data that you are going to calculate it here is the data that you are going to use in the bearing sheet then we go and do the same so from a to c the same formula so that will be the difference in the easting so that will be the easting in c minus the easting in a over the nothing in c minus the nothing in a when you do a calculation and you find the turn inverse you get a negative 120 so you get a negative 21 140 uh going back to the calculation that i had spoken about so from the inversing computation we add 360 to that value and when you add 360 ac will be 338 58 20 having gotten the two values there we go again so we go and find the back bearing of ac that we had gotten here and the back bearing is going to give us the data of ca then we go and do the same and we get the back bearing of so and we go and get the back bearing of bc so again we go back here so when you f when you want to find the value of bc we do the same so uh, i did that in the calculator but i hope you are getting the concept so bc you find the difference in the easting so that is the easting of c minus easting of b and the difference between the easting of the nothing of c and b and then you find the the turn inverse and from that turn inverse you get your answer then from that answer the back bearing of bc will give you cb that will be 220 zero, zero, 55 that was the only thing they needed you to think and do and when you have done that the whole bearing sheet becomes easy because now having written the bearing sheet so from a to b you will have your value written here that we had gotten from our calculation so from a to b that value is written there then from a to c we had calculated the value and we write it there so that is the final bearing that we have gotten from our calculation then we go to the last control station c so from c to a we have gotten our value so from c to a we have gotten the back bearing of ac so that will be 158 58 20 then c to b uh, here we have 220 0, 0, having calculated that that becomes a very simple calculation so here is a table that is a little bit much clearer so from a to b you write all the observed values that we you had got in there so from a to b a to k1 to c you write all the observed value that we have there then having written that you do the same so the difference between the observed value and the final bearing is going to give you the orientation correction so when you find the so the difference in the observed value is going to give you the final correction 
so this is a this is the 12 not a 6 so that is um we, yeah, so you correct there then the difference in the absurd value of a to c so the difference there we have positive for the two data we find the mean and the mean is going to be a positive five from the mean of the orientation correction we apply it to the next observed value so from k1 to k2 we correct it so we find the difference between the forbearing and the back bearing so when you want so it is from a to k1 so when you minus 180 from 251 we are going to get 71 43 54 but here we have 34 so we need to correct this we correct it by adding positive 20 in order to get the 54 so the positive 20 is going to be applied in the orientation correction of positive so the positive 20 is going to ah, so the correction will be applied to k1 and that correction will be added to the next point so the difference in the bearing and the so the forbearing and the back bearing the difference will be added or subtracted to the orientation correction that we had gotten early there that will be done to the next point and all the other points will be corrected there so the difference between the forbearing and the back bearing of those lines will be observed and then the orientation correction will be gotten from that orientation correction in the last point we'll get the preliminary adjusted bearings and from the two you are going to find the difference in the correction so the final correction will be gotten there so the difference of the two so that it will be the mean and the mean will be 19 divided by the number of stations so those will be eight stations there and the answer will be applied to the first and the second and the third so you will add the final correction to all those points until we obtain our final the final value that we'll have there so i'm a little bit rushing it there but the pdf uh, is available in the link below after having gotten that we use the observed bearing with the orientation correction to find the preliminary adjusted bearing and from the preliminary adjusted bearing we correct it with the final correction uh, we do the same to all those points until we get our final bearing which those are the uh, corrected value so after having done that we'll have completed the bearing sheet available and uh, much of the example was in the previous so the previous section i moved slowly but here i have moved a little bit faster because you have already understood and if not you can repeat the same and you find the corrected so that will be all